Hey, buddy. Hi, Scott. It's bowl chat. Yep. You all right over there? I'm just trying to get this mic right. You have that spit guard. Oh, you see, it's loose. What is? It's, look, it's it, it's loose. It's wilting. I don't understand. The, the screw is a little bit Where? low. Where? The screw that holds it straight up. So what do I do? I guess just hold it. I'll hold it. I'll hold it the whole time. No, you can just make it go up a little bit. Can I bit. get rid of this? I hate this. Yeah, but I think people use it. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a monocle on camera. Anyway, welcome to Bowl Chat. Welcome to Today Bowl is Chat. Wednesday, July 19th, and it actually is. Yeah? Because it's live, we're, baby. Why, wouldn't it have been easier if we just sent it out live? Can we do that? We can, but you'll probably- We're in that. real time, as they say. I mean, we could. It's just a live episode. Oh. But I, then that has to feed into- Yeah, it's a yeah. whole thing. I could do it, but you need to give me five minutes, and you don't have the time. I don't. Now, do I just look fat, or did I actually put more weight on? Because look at, look at, look. You're being very harsh on yourself. No, I'm not. Okay. Because there was that minute there when I was like 184, remember? Uh-huh. And now I'm 196. Wow. That's what, 12 pounds? Well, I mean- It's, it's in, in six months? Well, I mean- Woo! Okay. And I still don't eat bad stuff, really. Yeah, I think you look fine. You like, do. We went out for lunch the other day. Yeah. And what did I have? I had some sushi. I had yeah. three sushi rolls. Yeah. But there's really nothing bad about sushi, right? No. Unless and edamame is delicious, too. And it's good for you, I it think. It is, I think. Full of protein. Protein. <laughs> we had fun. You came to my house. I did. That was cool. I did a podcast recording for Bethany Frankel. Yeah. I didn't realize that I was recording basically the housewives equivalent of like Watergate of what she was doing. Like literally they made when they said what it was, I was like, OK, I'll do it. It's going to be fun. Are you happy you're looking at yourself and no, distracting I can't. yourself? I'm a little bit. Bl Is your computer screen blurry a little it's bit? It's not. Oh, wow. Anyway, problems. back to what I was saying. So I went there and I was told this is big and the audio needs to be out that night. So I was like, OK, I'm going to go with my stupid man box, mm -hmm. put on my backpack and went. And then literally in the Hamptons. Yeah, yeah. All the way at the end of the Hamptons. Mm -hmm. All the, uh, the end of the Hamptons. The end of the Hamptons. Okay. Is there an end? Well, Montauk is the very end yeah, of the Yeah, it was Island. in Montauk. No, it no. wasn't. It was in Bridgehampton. Yeah, which is like Montauk. No, it isn't. I don't know. It you was should far. learn about Long Island. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll give you an anatomy lesson of Long Island. I'm so good on that for right now. <laughs> it's but... right at the tip. Thank you. Anyway, so yeah, I went there, posted it out, and then it got like so many listens, and it's been making like breaking news all over the place. Wait, really? Yes. Why? Because Bethany has not spoken to Jill in over 14 years. I don't know what these and things are. And they had are. a sit-down conversation for the first time in 14 years. Oh, she was there too? Yes. Who's Jill? Her old friend from the Housewives of New York. Mm. Diamond, when I told her that what I was doing, Went she bananas. was crazy. My sister, insane. My friend Kim, nuts. Everybody who knows Housewives was like, oh, what are you doing? Mm. What is going on? And I'm like, yeah, it's going to be fun. Like for me, that would be like if Ponch and John got back together. I'd be like, ah, I got to go. I really hope you wouldn't make that noise. I wouldn't. Because they'd be like, is a circus clown in here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Go on. But it was really fun. Um, <laughs> and I was sitting like super close with my little stupid man box. And yeah. What if it didn't record? See that? I'm always so nervous if like it doesn't record. So here's the thing. What? Obviously, I have my own podcasting thing that I do on the side, and I know it works. I know it works, Andrew, but I will say, I there, will say there that are day, exactly that day, I was staring at the thing and I saw the levels reading. They told me they could hear it, and they were like, "It sounds great," but in my head, I'm like, "No, it's not recording. You just effed this whole thing up. What are you going to do?" And then when it finally sent, I was like, "God, thank you so much for making See? that work well." Because you remember that one time we recorded a really good podcast for us. And it looked like it was recording. And then when after it was done, yep. it was just like, <gasps> where'd it go? And it, it just wasn't there. <laughs> well, the problem Remember? is you have to turn on the thing and you didn't turn on the no. thing. All right. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> no. I'm not having an argument No, here. doll. That's fine. No, doll. But I wasn't, you, you were running it and it didn't run. It Are didn't, you talking about the scary one? N n I don't know. The scary one had a memory card issue. There. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Yeah. Because it got unplugged while we were recording it. But that could happen. If I'm an idiot and we have someone who's like it shuffling get, their it feet. It didn't get unplugged while we, it, the, we did the whole thing. And then at the very end, it wasn't there. No, there was an issue with uh, it. I, why would we have this argument? It's so dumb. It was the best <laughs> It was the best podcast episode of all time. Of all time. It'll never be heard. Okay. Remember? Yep. So how was your Long Island experience? I know you don't really. It's so weird because you know I what? drove out there on Sunday. Literally took the drive to get there. Mm -hmm. Then it started torrentially downpouring. Right. So then it couldn't be recorded. So then- I because was supposed was to raining? see you. Yes, because the the person who was flying in for the interview, oh. her flight was delayed. Okay. 
so and canceled actually so then i i didn't get to see you and you were very sad you were like oh damn well you, were you like was that the day you were way past my exit or was that another day uh no that was the um, sunday okay right right it's right. already past your exit you're like are you anywhere near you. exit 68 no i'm at 48 Okay, well. So that's not close at all. Great. So that day the podcast got canceled and then I called you back and I said, Scott, do you want to get dinner? And then we got dinner in Long Island and it was fun. We did? Yeah, we went to the well, shed. Well, that's when we went to the shed. I went to the shed. Yeah. The infamous shed. It was not really very infamous. I yeah, mean, I just... I, you talk about it and you have the hat and everything. You're right. I don't go it's there infamous to me. that much anymore, but oh. I like it. It's really good. It was really good. I had a great chicken piccata because- yeah, well, they did bring you the wrong thing. But I wound up enjoying it. And they gave us a $15 gift card for next time. It's 10 he said 15. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, all right, all right. Because first I thought he said 50, and I was like, yeah. But then I said, oh, wait, no, he said 15. Mm, sorry. Right. But it was a really, it was a, it was like a uh, flip, flip floppy like week because I came to New Jersey. Yes. And you came to Long Island. Yes. That, it's just so weird. How the turntables have turned. The turntables. <laughs> the tables have turned. I know. Somebody said that once in a comedy and i thought it was funny so i picked it up and started using it oh all right and uh, i can't tell you how excited i am for this saturday oh we're going to the farm we are finally going to the farm farm life so sawyer is honestly he's such like a big mush and i loved him so much i love seeing him he is a mush and so this so saturday nice. we're going to take him to our friend nick's farm <laughs> and uh there's goats there yeah he, they foster what they foster goats in yes. the summer time mm-hmm. And so Sawyer is going to have his way with Billy. And okay, that's an interesting way to put it. Um, so <laughs> the last time this happened was like 2018. That's right. I wasn't there. Why did you have Sawyer? Was I away you, or something? Yeah, you went to the um, you went to Six Flags or the beach or something oh. that day. And so we I watched him, and he went instinctually. Keep talking. Okay. Keep talking. I went instinctually. Sawyer went instinctually to go chase the sheep, the goats. Right. And it was crazy. He, like, all of a sudden had, like, okay, this thing is raising. Um, he, like, went and just knew what to do. And then he just herded all the goats. And it was crazy. He went from, like, cute, fluffy Sawyer who, like, just is a derp to, like, a work <laughs> dog. It was nuts. Well, that's his job. Yeah. You know, he's he's generally unemployed. Call of the wild. When he, when he goes to the farm, his job kicks in. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to that. So there's going to be a couple of people there bringing Cooper. Yeah, yeah. I think Sam's bringing her dog, which might like throw a wrench in the works, but you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If... Savannah is not really a, a herding dog. Yeah. But do you need a specific? I guess you do need a specific herding dog. I think so because I think most breeds will just stand there and be like, what? Or maul them. Or that. Yeah. Like Luna can't go because Luna would get kicked by the goats. We were specifically <laughs> told she's too low to the ground and the goats would kick her. Well, you said that they can't see her, where they can't look down. Yeah. I mean, Luna is like. She's she's pleasantly plump, right. and she is just- but her legs are also like two inches long. Yeah, So and trudging through that grass, she'd be like, I'm so hot. I hate it here. I'm just going to bark. <laughs> I gave Sawyer his tick application yesterday. That's great. So he should be good. He just got a nice little haircut. He's got a summer cut. Oh, he's going to love every minute of it. He's going to have a blast. Yeah. Hopefully and, it doesn't rain. And then after, but don't tell anybody because it's like a secret thing, mm-hmm. like after Cooper and I and Sawyer- are going over to Greg <gasps> T's house Fun. because he lives really close. Yes, apparently, he does. And we're going to go for a little barbecue and some pool action. Fine. But the thing I forgot to tell him is that Sawyer's coming and he's going to want to jump in the pool. Uh, and a lot of people don't like dogs in their pool. Why? Well, I mean, my dad does not like dog in his pool because hmm. the hair. <laughs> what? My dad does not like dog in pool. <laughs> Because the hair. I mean, even though Sawyer's hair is really short, there's still lots of hair. Luna got a life jacket. Yeah. And she's so cute. When she swims now, we're encouraging her to like jump and swim off the step because she just likes the she's splashies. Cautious, right? She's cautious. No, she just wants splashies. She just wants you to splash water on her so she could like try and bite the water. And you're like, what are you doing? You at, like, I love you, but why are you so dumb? Dummy. So now we're trying to teach her go in the water and you could swim in it. Yeah. You kind of have to hold her under her belly. And just let her do her splashies. And when she realizes she's moving, it's kind of like learning how to ride a bike. When you hold onto the bike and then you run with the bike and then you let go as a yes. dad. You're like, ah. So she started going into the first step. Right. And then if we're standing in the pool and we say, come here, Luna. And we say it like 15 times. She finally knows now that if she's wearing her life vest, she could jump. And then she swims to us. What if you held her under her belly and walked in and walked all the way in with her and then just gently let go? No. So she knows how to swim okay. with it. 
we just aren't trying to get her to like do it on her own without us in the pool. Got it. Like, oh, you want to go entertain yourself? Go in the pool. Don't ask us to splash water on you for an hour. <laughs> Please. Dogs are funny. See, uh, Sawyer loves the water, but he does not like being uh, cleaned afterward because I always have to hose him off Oof. because the chlorine and the, yeah, and the yeah. and it's not good for their skin and it gets in their ears and whatever. He gets, that's the one thing he loves swimming, but always gets an ear infection. Aww. So we, I didn't I, know dogs get an ear infection. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I have the, I have the goo on hand Ugh. all the time. Yuck. He doesn't like it. The goo. Yep. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, why don't we take a break? Okay. And, and, da, 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 da. and we're, and we're back. back so uh what else andy how many donuts did nate have today i think he had f- i observed him eating four he might have had more see that's your thing because you were late today and uh you felt bad so you stopped at uh, Krispy cream to get some donuts yes and that's kind of like your makeup <laughs> hey guys uh i'm an hour and a half late but here's some donuts i was not an hour and a half late. uh yeah you were i got here at 6 50 that's an hour and a half late we get, uh, we get here at 5. The day starts at 5. We don't get here at 5. Most people do. You get here at 5. Oh, one. I'm walking to Sam's at 5.05, 5.06, the latest. If I'm 5.06, see, here's the thing. Scary doesn't realize it, but he thinks he comes at a consistent time every day. He doesn't. Some days it'll be 5.04 and he's like, I'm on my way. And then I am still in my staircase and I get the text and then I have to start sprinting. And then other days it's like 5.15. I've been on the corner for like five minutes. Right. And he's like, I'm on my way now. Because there's sometimes where he'll walk in here at like 5.30 and yes. other times at like 5.50. I know. Like, what's going on? I know. Uh, I have a question. So how who's all on your little carpool thing? Me, right? Sam, and Scary, and Josh if he feels like it. Now, how do, how do you guys work the- Convertible? It, no, the toll. Because it's expensive. It's ex- it's like twelve dollars every time you come into Manhattan. I don't ask questions. I get him a gift card like twice a year. Oh, okay, so he just pays on his Easy Pass. I think so, and does anybody give him money? We give him gift cards. Gas as money? like a thank you. Gas I'll pay money? for his gas if he stops. Hmm. Okay. Do but, you just, do, does he just pick you up at that dirty motel on the corner? Like no. What, where we, did, I walk to Sam's. Right. See, I the whole like I, the geography of Jersey City. I don't really. <laughs> Like your guys are far in though, and he's on the complete opposite yes, side. So he, I walk to Sam's. Right. So it's like a ten, five, ten minute walk to Sam's, depending on how fast I'm walking at, that day. At four thirty in the morning. Uh, five in the morning, five ish. Yeah. Sometimes there's skunks. Jersey City has a skunk problem. No, it's just people smoking weed in the bushes. It's not. I physically have seen like the skunk. Oh, all right. And they're mean too. They run and then they look at you like I'm gonna get you. And then I run into the middle of the street because I'm so scared of them. Mm. But luckily, no one's on the road. I'd love to see that. Anyway, um, so yeah, I walk to the corner. Then he drives to Sam's Mm -hmm. and picks up. Mm -hmm. Sam just gets to walk right out. It's easy for her. And then if Josh wants to go, that's another stop. Or no, we all meet at that one corner. Got it. We don't make him do multiple stops. All right. I wish I could carpool with somebody. You know, like I want to go to the park and ride and pick someone up and bring them in. Yeah, I mean, when I used to drive in. I would drive a couple people in, and it was it was fun. But I mean, like strangers. What? Like, because they. <laughs> you want hitchhikers? No, 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 no. They have this thing. It's like you know, carpool, and and there's a number in like a website. But I don't think there's. I don't think there's. I can't imagine that there's another person that needs to come to Midtown at five o'clock in the morning, and lives near me, because I would love to, and I and that would have to come home the same time as me. You know, so I, I feel like what you're looking for is probably on Craigslist. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just want seeking like, carpool partner, and then you're just gonna get a bunch of weird requests. No, I just want to split the ride. Like I want to some days drive home, and some day, you know what I mean. Like, well, let me tell you, the drive to your house, I would rage every day I of my do. life. I do. I do. I would. My blood would be boiling. It makes so much sense as to who you are as a person after seeing your commute home. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. At least that's my As you excuse. Listen to your country music. Well, you know that's because in... he's a country guy now, folks. Well, I'm not allowed to like different types of music. It's not that you're not allowed. It's just you literally have been listening for three months. Six, actually, I timed oh, it. Six. Oh, yeah. you timed it. Got yep. it. And he listens to like pop country. Yeah, so new it's... country. I like new country. New country. So no bluegrass. No. No, like nothing, nothing like that. He wants like got a jack in my truck going to the They're, all festival. the songs all the songs are about pickups and beer and ladies and you know that kind of stuff and then there's some sad ones too 
Yeah. You know, next thing you know, very sad. Okay. Uh, meets a girl. Meets a girl. Gets married. Gets married. Has a kid. Has a kid. Kid goes to college. College. You know, like, yeah. next thing you know. That's next thing er- you know. It, it is. <laughs> yep. And so you, from Long Island, uh-huh. relates to... That's right. I have a kid, and she's almost 17. I do relate, and it makes me... Every time I hear that song, I cry. And when they say she went to the pageant, I said, oh, you know, I'm going to miss her. And Cooper and I... Just like that. Cooper and I have this thing with Cole, with, uh, Cole Swindell. Um, do you know he was on Survivor? Really? I think it... Yeah. Oh. Or, no, 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 Chase Rice. Different one. Heads Carolina, Tails California. That's we, literally... The title and makes we sing me it. We sing it want together. to die. It's actually a remake of some some girl did it years ago. Not mm-hmm. a remake, but it's a song about that yeah. song. Mm-hmm. I love it. I like Dan and Shay. That's cool. They're, They're mainstream. Fine. Tequila's... I love that song. Yeah. When I taste, taste tequila. tequila. Like, I want to I want to go to country shows. Like, I, I definitely want to see Morgan Wallen. He's coming around. He's doing stadium shows. He'll be here in 2024, because a lot of his stuff... I'm going to pass on pushed. Morgan Wallen. Really? Yeah. Why? He's not great. I love every one of his songs. Great. I think they're great. He has one song that I like. I Last Night? No. Oh. Um, I think it's just a little... Is it just a little bit? Just a little bit. Down there, down there, down there, down there. Why is everything dang da dang da dang twang guitars with you? I mean, they're not all like that. <laughs> Wang dang, Morgan. But you should you should because Froggy uh, programs a country radio station. It's called just say Alexa, play WQIK. Oh, one thing at a time. That's it. I like this song. Yeah, I like this song too. Only one thing at a time. That's not how he really sings it. That isn't that crazy that we don't have that in our system. Crazy. It is. It's weird. But look, there's like 70 Morgan Wallen songs in here. And that one's not He said here. some not so great things. A few. Was he the one? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> See, I didn't. I remember that whole like controversy like a couple years ago. It and was then, like a year ago. Yeah. I think it was more than that. Okay, so maybe two. Whatever it is, I didn't know that that was him. Yeah. No. Yeah. But I do like one thing at a time. Okay. I kind of darn at one thing at a time. I like Casey Musgraves. I like Billy Strings. He's saying he can only like quit one thing at a time because he drinks a lot and all this stuff. Yeah. So he can only he can only quit one thing at a time. Oh, okay. Yeah, because he does so many things. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. What? When you listen to music, do you are you a lyrics person or a beat person? It's funny because I will I just for years I'll just listen to a song and have no idea what's going yeah. on and then years later I'll be like oh, that's what they said yeah. do you know that forever I thought that that what's his name stepped on a pop tart on the beach um, uh, Margarita what's his name Margaritaville guy Jimmy Buffett Jimmy Buffett I thought he stepped on a pop tart but he, he, he stepped on a, a pop top and blew out his flip flop I thought he was like walking down the beach and stepped on a strawberry pop tart and I was like that's so dumb <laughs> stepped on a pop <laughs> yeah you know, so years later, I'll Wait. actually listen to lyrics. Uh, yeah, I'm more of a beat person. Mm. Sometimes I listen to the lyrics. But yeah, for the most part, if the beat's good, I'm I'm in. But it's weird. like all the country songs, I listen to the lyrics. So I know what they're all about. Kane Brown, love him too. Great. Bury Me in Georgia. It's good stuff. Oh. Billy Zimmerman. I, I love all these guys wow. now. I, I think I, it, I'm, I'm into it. I'm not even kidding. Like I could probably do a shift on a country station. Oh, I could. God. I could. Oh, God. But, How would old Scott... With his accent, do a break. He couldn't. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. He'd be laughed out of Nashville. I want to hear it. I I, I don't know. Hey, this is Morgan Wallen. Yeah. (laughs) Make sure you're listening. This is QIK, New (laughs) Country Musics. Just like that. That's exactly how it'd be. I'm going to run down the hall and get some coffee. (laughs) I'll be back with more twang coming up. Here's Tennessee Orange, 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 Orange. Because now I say Orange. Orange, orange. I don't know how you say orange. Orange, orange. I say orange. Orange. Or, or that's Long see, Island is orange. It's like if it's, I say orange juice, but it's right. the color orange. Hmm. Just like Caribbean and Caribbean. See, I don't, I don't know which one I like to say, because you know you got. Cari- I'm going to the Caribbean, and it's Pirates of the Caribbean. But it's Caribbean Queen, the song. Caribbean Queen. <laughs> you know that's well. See, that sounded weird. Do you know how, do you know that song? What? Billy Ocean, I think, right? Okay. You don't know Billy Ocean? I probably do. It's just you know me with Is music. it Billy Ocean? It is Billy Ocean. Oh, it doesn't work. Sky High Colorado. That's right. It mistapes against the bottle. They just they're coming out with something new also. Yes, they are. 
I'm trying to get this to play. The stupid system won't do anything. Stupid system. <laughs> Why should Jojo Siwa up top? Hmm. All right. Uh, uh, here. Oh, here it is. Look, it's doing. It's doing it again. What? It. It won't let me. It won't let me choose just one. Why, when you play the song, do you not play the hook? I can't get to it. I can't. Oh, here. She's so. Yeah. Oh, I know this song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. listen to how he says it. Caribbean queen. That's <laughs> bad, that, right? That's, like is... a, that's a cross between both of them. Yeah, that just doesn't make sense. Hmm. Caribbean. <laughs> oh, you know what? How he's saying it. Maybe Caribbean. Maybe well, he's saying it like. Well, no, he's not saying it. Accent? No, it's Billy Ocean, dude. Get what? out of my dreams. Get into my car. You know that one, don't you? Get out of my dreams. Yes, get into get my car. Get into my car. That's kind of creepy now, isn't it? Yeah, like, actually. Yeah. Just, <laughs> you know, I had a dream about that girl that was on the corner. Get into my car. <laughs> get in now. I've been dreaming about you. I promise it's not creepy. Just get in my car. I'll explain. What's that duct tape? <laughs> Why are there no windows? <laughs> Because I'm in Scary's van. <laughs> Get out of my dreams. All right, we got to record serial killers. Okay. For Monday. Okay. And we're you have no like, time this week, I'm guessing. Well, we're here now, so we might as well do it. Because you know what it's like for me to get you in the studio. It's 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 a task. You know. <sighs> Plus, we have the milk and everything. And you know what we're going to call the next episode of Serial Killers? Let's go to the movies. You and I are going to be like Siskel and Ebert. Who? Who are you texting? Um, Elvis and Nate. Oh, is there something important happening? Um, yes, I need to get a date on the books for something. So, oh, on the books. Yeah. Okay. Can you just say on the schedule? Sorry. You know what? On the show today, I said that I was going to stop being so critical of people. Say what you like. Just like you said on the last like fifteen thousand episodes of Serial Killers and Bullshit. It's always oh, what was it? Doink. What? When you turned a new leaf? I'm trying really hard. Yeah. I really am. Okay. But see, at least now I, I recognize it. Yeah. You know, I, I just, for whatever reason, it irks me when people say, up, oh, uh, another vacation in the books. What book? You didn't write it down. What what book? This is from the same person that, like, hands someone a $2 bill and it's like, you're welcome. <laughs> I don't ever say that. Oh, yeah. I've never said you're welcome, tee hee. I'm like, here's $2. Yeah, you're that guy. And then they get a $2 bill and they're like, cool. Instead of just handing them two singles where they know that it's going to work. Instead of being like, I don't know if this is going to work. going to work? You're the 50 cent guy. Can't who wait. like walks around with like Half 50 cents. Exactly. I, I, I want some so bad. You're the person who like will try and create a law that makes like vending machines have to accept 50 cents they now. They used to. Okay. No, no, no. In the, in the 70s and 80s, sure, but not anymore. Now, dollar coins, yes. Okay. I think they should all take dollar coins, and they should take $2 bills. How many people have dollar coins is my question. People that take the trains and use cash. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I hated that. I love I it. I hated buying NG Transit tickets. It's because it's like a dollar ninety-five, and you put in a $20 bill, yes. and you get, you get yes. $18 A coins. pocket full of coins. You're like, love what it. is this? I love it. Ching, ching. I feel like I wanted a slot machine. They need to just... Make everything tap to pay. This is stupid. Every other country with a working rail system figured it out. Why in the United States are we still buying physical tickets that the person has to go click, 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 well, click? He should just be able to go around. You show him the ticket you have that. and it's done. You, you had to download the, the app, mobile though. tickets. Yeah. But everything should just be the same system. This way you could buy like the fact that I took your train, right? Mm -hmm. My train. From the, the Long Island. The Long Island <laughs> yes. Railroad. Yes. Yes. And then took the subway. By the way, also. And then took the path. Yeah. The fact that that's three different rail systems instead of one united one. I got you. Where I could just keep going. And you should be able to get on Amtrak too. It's so dumb. You know, it annoys me that Long Island Railroad is L-I-R-R. -R. Mm -hmm. It should just be L-I-R. <laughs> right? Just like when people say H-B-D. No, it's just H-B. It's one word. Right? Am I right? Please just tell me. I'm right. You're right. Scott. I am right. Yeah, you're right. Words that are not two words, words shouldn't have that are two not letters. Two words shouldn't have two letters. I've always, you've always said that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, no, it was annoying because I took the L I R uh, to Penn Station. You stick it to the man. Scott. Then I walk an avenue to take the the path train. Yeah. Uh, do you know what path stands for? Uh, Port Authority Transportation Hub. Port Authority Trans Hudson. Trans Hudson. You're going across the Hudson River. That yes. And um, what, what you learn something new every day, right? Every day. 
And so I, I ran to the path because the train was there. And, it, yeah. you know, the little departing light was flashing because it's still 1972 and they have the light bulb that flashes that says departing. <laughs> and I ran to the thing. There's no tap a credit card thing yeah. in that one. There is in the subway right next door, but there, no. So, so I had to run to the machine and buy a Metro I card. know. And Jersey City is being, like, really dumb with it. Like, they're like, guess what? An announcement's coming about tap to pay. It's like, just make the effing announcement. Right. This is like- Don't tease it. What are we- You're teasing an announcement that I'm going to be able to tap my credit card, which I've been able to do on the damn subway for the past five years? Yeah, that's annoying. It's stupid. People that don't live in the area don't really know our-, our, our, our What's it called? Transportation? Railway? Problem. No, you know, our hardships. But path- And here's another thing. Oh. Here's what else is crazy. Tell me. Oh, okay. I'm going to go to Newark Airport from my apartment. Newark Liberty? Yes. Okay. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to take the train like I did to take to JFK. Right. JFK got on the subway. Air train. I path think nice. To the subway, to the Sky Train. Three different tickets. Air, air train. Three different tickets I had to yep. buy just to get on that damn thing. Newark is even worse. I take the path to take one stop on NJ Transit mm-hmm. to then take one more stop on a train that's three different tickets I have to buy. Three. I know. They didn't build stuff really with us in mind. Why is it every single other country can you just go and just go? Why are we making it so difficult? I don't think it's difficult? every other country. Yes. I think if you went to like Uzbekistan, their rail system is not, you know... False. I believe Uzbekistan <laughs> probably is better than NJ Transit. Okay. NJ Transit's like, guess what? The tracks are hot today. It's canceled. What about when you see those trains in India where they're packed with thousands of people in one car and on the roof? India actually has very good high-speed rail. Yeah. Unlike the United States where it's like Amtrak. It, the train tried to make a turn and so it, it couldn't. It's signal trouble. It's canceled. The light bulb went out. So <laughs> yes. you're delayed three hours. Yes. Well, Even we... the bright line that's in Florida now. Mm-hmm. Why is that's not high speed rail to go in two hours if i drove from boca it's three hours that is not high speed right at all well i mean look look at so if i went to take the long island railroad to, I'm sorry i'm very you know passionate about railways and i wish that they were more efficient and it bothers me okay this. so friends of ours are having um a wedding mm-hmm. in montauk that's the very end of long mm-hmm. island I would much rather take the train yes. than sit in Friday traffic in yes. the summer to get out there. Yes. But for me to take the train to Montauk, I, I, now, now picture Long Island. Picture the big long yeah. island. Penis. <laughs> yeah. Okay? And so oh, my I'm house- getting my uh, geography lesson. My house is kind of like, I don't want to say in the middle, but it's kind of like in yeah. the middle. In order for me to go all the way out east on the train, I have to go all the way to Penn Station, which is back in the city, <laughs> to go three hours on the train all the way out to the end, which is insane. Insane. Like that's not efficient. No. Why? Do you know why? Why? Because it's all privatized. There is no national rail system. If the United States tomorrow said, "Hey, guess what? We're going to buy up all the private railways and call it USA Railways," then all of a sudden they all have to speak to each other, and we wouldn't have this issue. But so because it's Am- all privatized, so Amtrak only services places that don't have their own railroad, I guess, right? Or Amtrak likes stations. NJ Transit does not work with Amtrak. Amtrak does not work with the Long Island Railroad. They're all separate, and that's why, like, NJ Transit also consists of the buses. It's like so. But I also think that stupid. I think that Amtrak also owns a lot of the tracks. Yes. And these other railways just u- rent them or rent, do whatever. Use them or whatever. It's that's just why so, whenever there's problems, they always blame Amtrak. It's just inefficient. And if anybody ever tells you in this country that we can't have high speed rail because of the geography, show them the oh. friggin' what is it? The Switzerland. How about where the channel? They they right? literally go through the mountains. Mm. You cannot tell me the United States can't have it. But one thing I would like to do, I would love to take a week off. Just buy a train ticket and go on Amtrak coast to coast. Do you I want just, to do that next year? Yeah. Why don't we get in touch with Amtrak? Why don't we and have see if them... they would send it to us, send us? Yes. I think they would. That would be a great vacation. We could talk about it, just like your uh, RV thing. That yes. You did. We should do it on on Amtrak. I'm in. I would. I want to do that. I've seen like videos of it, and it looks yeah. like so much fun. It does. Like you see, like the mountains and yes, the things. Yes, I would do that. I'd be scared, but I want to go. <laughs> we should go. Fine. Next year. I, I'm not kidding. I'm in. Okay. Great. Right, great story. Wow. All right. Well, uh, thank you for listening to this uh, transportation uh, episode of Bull Chat. <laughs> I'm just saying it should not be privatized, in my opinion. Okay. I think we should give it to the government. All right. I know no more government in oversight, but on railways and transportation, I think you should just have a standard that I will, every, every okay. state has to work by. I will send a DM to Pete Buttigieg and we'll get right on it. I just think Who? the transportation Very good. commissioner. Yes. Idiot. Uh, I don't know if it's commissioner. Whatever. Deputy. 
prime minister. I don't know. Okay. But I know he's in charge of transportation. Thank you for listening to Bull Chat. Who was chat? the old person who was in charge of it? He's not there anymore. It's, it was a she and it was Elaine Chow. That's right. Yep. There you go. Yep. <laughs> uh, thank you for listening to Bull Chat. Please follow our socials. Uh, oh, one more thing. So sorry. Uh, Diesel. Yeah. We in the United States still use diesel trains. It is the worst. And you can look it up. It's no other country is using it because they're that inefficient. And the United States has doubled down on it to say, hey, guess what? That electric and all that other stuff, not sure if it's going to work, even though it's worked in every other country. Here, diesel. And keep investing in it, and it doesn't work. Why are we doing this? Money. It's dumb. And the oil companies. Make it better for people to use. Well, I think (sighs) we still use coal, too, don't we? Probably. (laughs) I'll never forget growing up, my dad had a coal burning stove in the house. Hmm. And that's how he heated the house. With We had a coal bin in the backyard. This big, dirty coal truck would come and drop tons of coal into this thing. And I would have to shovel it with big elephant shit shovel into the into the coal bin (laughs) and bring the thing inside the house. We had one of these big ass shovels that, you know, you had in the circus. They just used to make cities so much more walkable and friendly. Even Jersey City. You could still see lines where they would run the trains. But yeah. now they don't. They got rid of all of them. Right. All right. Let's let's stop complaining. At least we're not fighting with each other this time. We're just yeah. fighting yeah. with the world. About railways, yeah. which I'm very passionate about. All right. Well, follow us on all socials at Serial Killers PC, no matter where you are. And let's end this right now. Say hi, clink, Diamond. Andrew. Just say clink. Diamond, come in here no, and no, say bye. Bye, oh, Diamond. So far, it's over. Sorry. Bye, bye. Diamond. Bye.